looks like a day full of tequila, guacamole, and good time. So, we thought we'd get the party started really early, so we started before the show. But now I'm bringing them back on so that you guys can see how we're doing this. So, uh, we've got the Dos folks from my favorite Mexican restaurant right here in New York City. It's Dos Caminos. This is mix master Raf Van Kooten and executive <laughs> chef Ivy Stark. Give them a bigger round of applause because they got you guys wasted already. Thank you. All right, so we cannot celebrate Cinco de Mayo without cocktails. That's true. And a proper margarita. So please tell us how to make the correct margarita. Th this is our uh, most popular seller. It's uh, called the El Camino. Um, we, it's really simple that we make it behind the bar, but for everyone at home, this is just uh, lime juice, lemon juice, simple syrup, uh, and triple sec. We kind of pre-make that mixture already so we can bang them out because we do sell a lot of them. Um, and then a simple Blanco tequila. Yeah. So I'm going to Mix it up, up for, for me? You. Yeah. Can I help? Sure. You can pour that in here. Okay. You've already been sampling these two, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> every, oh, chance, every, every chance I get. And, you know, I'm going no salt. Ivy would prefer is that, salt. Is that what ha you, is I, it's I, just a preference? I don't believe that it's an actual margarita unless it has salt on it. We have that kind See, of For me, with the margarita with the salt on it, I just feel all bloated. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'd rather eat that, but we'll get to what? that in a second. That's where my salt is going down. Yeah. This is a sodium-free margarita. <laughs> I, oh, good. <laughs> So, just like that, it's a Shake, simple Shake, rattle, and roll. Yeah. And just pour it over And ice. then love it. Yeah. Now, that would be the traditional way to go, but if you don't want tequila, I want something different, what do we get? If you don't want tequila, you can also keep kind of the Mexican theme. I did a habanero and jalapeno uh, vodka. Is that what those little floaties yeah. are? Yeah. Can you guys see those in there? <laughs> there you go. So, this is really fun. Um, you just uh, put those guys in there, sit about a week, and you get this nice spicy, spicy vodka. Yeah. Like, don't get it near your eyes. Yeah, don't get it okay. near your eyes. It'll burn. <laughs> so this is called the Oi Caliente. Oi! It's a oi. spicy strawberry <laughs> vodka and Prosecco drink. So it's vodka. If you want, you can put those in there. It's, uh, yes, please. Some simple All syrup. Of it. Yeah. That's lime juice. It's good. Okay. And then strawberries. I pureed these strawberries already, but you can do like fresh muddled strawberries. Oh, yum. So all that goes in there. It smells good. You guys, I wish we had smell a vision. Don't you can get it smell what's really, happening like right I'm here. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am a professional. Oh, no. <laughs> He's making a mess. <laughs> That's all right. All right, hurry up. I want to taste this one. So that's just a strawberry garnish. I want to make it proper for you. One Cheers. last thing. One last thing. Hold yeah. on. Hold on. What do, oh, 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 we gotta top yeah. it off. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. While I'm drinking this, we need to talk about guacamole. Yes, we do. So, uh, I'm gonna make you uh, the secret recipe for Dos Caminos, which mm -hmm. will not be so secret anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Um, the most important ingredient is a ripe uh, California Hass avocado. This okay. variety. There's a lot of varieties of avocados, but this is the only one that we use at Dos Caminos, and we use thousands and millions of pounds. And if they're good when they're extra squishy? You, you need to just press gently. If it um, yields slightly to pressure, that's when it's good. Okay. And you always remove the little nub and throw it over your shoulder. Oh, for good luck. <laughs> otherwise, it's going to end up in your guacamole and you're going to break your tooth. Oh, so. uh, no, Don't that's not cool. Uh -uh. <laughs> so the key, this is the, this is the important step. We take the onion, a little bit of chili, mm. and salt. And you're like making it for party of one. Yeah. Oh, I have plenty. Okay, There's more. So we got a lot of people here that want to get drunk and, and have, have some food. Mucho. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I grind it into a paste to release the oils. Oh, and that smells exactly. amazing. And then comes our avocado. And where'd my scoop go? Right here. I'm going to scoop the avocado in. And if Raf would be so kind to lend me one of his limes. Yes, definitely. I'm not even helping. I'm just no. drinking, watching. <laughs> I've, I've gotten lost in the moment. Sorry about the <laughs> so you're making you're making the traditional one right here, but we also have two different flavors. Yes, yes. If you want to, you know, jazz up your guacamole a little bit, we've added some chipotle peppers and some jumbo lump crab meat to that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and this no, one is a this. spiced <laughs> up mango and habanero guacamole. Oh, and we is it really spicy? It's spicy, yeah. It's really spicy. It's got those habaneros, so... It feels really good with this cocktail. It does. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to keep eating. And Jason, you need to try this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come in and try it. Okay. So, so you, have to, you have to mush 
that together to yes, release the oils. That's exactly. the key. Exactly. And then I'm going to add a little bit more just for the texture because we've mashed it up. And depending on the spice level, I like it pretty spicy myself because it goes well with margaritas that way. I'm totally getting in your way right now. <laughs> add the tomatoes at the end so, so they don't get tomatoes. mashed up, and that's a little cilantro. I made this the other night. And I wish I knew this beforehand. Well, mm -hmm. now you know. <laughs> I didn't, I you just, need a drink. I think he needs to show you how to make oh, yeah. the, the designated driver cocktail. Yeah, this is this is this is the designated driver cocktail. All um, right, what do we got, Raph? So all this is really is uh, Yaritos soda, which is a grapefruit soda, yeah. uh, some fresh grapefruit juice, lime juice, and agave nectar. Uh, you just kind of shake that all together, pour it in the glass, and then you top it off with a really nice uh, bouquet of grapefruit slice, and then through the middle oh, yeah. is just a clove. Yeah, so really good. it's simple, easy. So what's know, this stuff? Yaritos. It's a grapefruit soda. Cool. Really easy from Mexico. Yeah, mm -hmm. Let me show you a trick. Try that. Wow! Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is serious. We're full of secrets. We're, we're giving that's all right. our secrets today. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Who wants to go up here and get a drink? There's a couple more up here. Yeah, does anybody want to get guacamole? Come up here. This is so good. Oh my god, thank you guys so much for that's coming and so celebrating yeah. with us. It's yeah. happy. Yeah. All right, yeah. so good. Um, you guys can thank visit you. our Facebook page yeah. for all the rest of things that you just saw uh, here. And go eat at your local Dos yeah. Caminos because it's really good. <laughs> all right, so up next, the celebration is going to continue. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy Stark and the Cranberries for stopping by. Okay, so